Hi, Ashley Stegall here with Ashley Esborn's Books. Today, I'm going to share with you some nature books. The first one is my very first reference book about nature, and the second one is 1,000 Things in Nature. The first things, or first reference book about nature, is going to be for younger readers, and it's going to have a picture here. It asks the question, what is nature? And it gives you an answer. And then over here it says make a nature table. So here if you want to do a nature study with some younger kiddos, you already have your task beforehand. Um, a nature year, nature's year. Nature does not stay the same all year. Can you spot the things that have changed in these pictures of the four seasons? So you can look at the seasons here. Um, plants and flowers. Um, there are animal groups. So this one works for cycles one and cycles two for those of you who are um, classical conversations, mamas. Um, but it gives different things, different animals, different parts of nature, um, things that you can find. This would make a fabulous resource as a nature study um, for kiddos of, that are younger. I'm thinking like kindergarten through maybe second grade, um, third grade even. Um, it's $9.99. The second one I want to show you is 1,000 Things in Nature, and this one is $14.99. The pages in this are a little bit stiffer. They're more like a, um, like a poster board. And here's your table of contents right here. And you can see that there's pictures, big pictures. Um, but what they do is they talk about, they give you a category, and then they just list the things that you can find in that category. So, for example, you have meadows and fields over here. So all of these are things that you can find in meadows and fields. And on this side, you have backyard wildlife. So things that you might find in your very own backyard. There are savannas and grasslands and in the mountains. So when we talk about different biomes, you can look at the animals and the trees and the things of nature that would exist in those different biomes. Because you know, not all of us are within a day's drive even of all seven biomes. Um, ice and snow in the desert, streams and rivers, ponds and lakes. So you have all these different things. So one of the cool things that I like about this book that you could use for even your older kids is you could give them a page and um, say, okay, we're going to go on a nature walk and I want you to find as many of these things on this page as you can find. Now, obviously the easy ones would be like backyard, meadows and fields, but maybe you happen to live upon um, next to a river and so you could look for the things that are in the river. Or if you're going on vacation and you're gonna be in a different um, different area with different types of nature, then you could take this book with you and you can throw in some school while you're on your trip. So um, these are both fun, easy to implement for a nature study if you're looking for something like that in your homeschool.